What is going on beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. So today I got a video for you guys about how to make protein smoothies. Uh, I have a low carb version on this on my left side and I have kind of a higher carb version, moderate to higher carb version on my right side. On my left side here I have my pre-workout shake that I would take before the gym. Uh, it's a little lower in carbs and it kind of sits in my stomach better. And here on the right hand side I have my uh, post-workout shake so for the left side is my like I said my low carb shake and I have just about six to seven strawberries cut up and freshly washed uh, I use about a scoop or a scoop and a half of my protein vanilla whey I use my unsweetened almond milk vanilla flavor which is about 30 calories they have different versions but I go with this one because it tastes well and it's 30 calories like I said it's pretty much nothing um, it's, this one's pretty low calorie also, so it's a great option. Then I have some ice cubes here. On my right side here, I have my chocolate smooth protein powder. I use about a scoop to a scoop and a half of this natural Jif Creamy. And I use this raw and unfiltered honey. Make sure it's when you buy honey, it's raw and unfiltered because some of the honey is the cheaper versions. This is about five to six dollars. Um, this is a great honey, but there's other versions that are just kind of strained and they have all the uh, the added vitamins, minerals, and pollens that they ha that honey has in here. So that's what's really going to benefit you and your immune system. So go ahead and try to get a better quality one that says raw and unfiltered. And I just use ground cinnamon for both of these. And I also have a banana. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I use my unsweetened almond milk for both of the shakes. And I just put about maybe four to five ounces, not too much because I like my smoothies very thick. I've done this for a while, so I'm gonna get some exact four to five ounces. Uh, I'll do this for this side as well, so I don't have to do it again. So it's four to five ounces for each shake. I'll go ahead and throw the, uh, I'll go ahead and throw the protein powder in. This time I'm using a scoop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the five to six strawberries. You can put as many as you want, um, depending on how much strawberry flavor you want in your shake. So I go ahead and just put five to six. That shows you about the perfect amount for me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in about four ice cubes. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I like cinnamon, so I put a lot of cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon is a good anti-inflammatory. So it's supposed to look like, just about like this. As you guys can see, I have the cinnamon, the five to six strawberries, uh, four to five ice cubes, a scoop of vanilla protein, and four to five ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So I'm gonna go ahead. I like these the Magic Bullet because it's easy to use. So I go ahead and twist the top. I like to give it a shake first. Give it a shake around, make sure everything's chicken up. And I go ahead and put it on here. It's gonna be kind of loud, but I'll go ahead and lower the volume for you guys. I like to take it out like about 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and shake it around just to make sure everything. So as you guys can see, it's very thick. Um, you kind of get this after. Delicious. You saw how long it took me. It took me less than two to three minutes to make. Um, so you can make this for breakfast if you like, if you don't have, really have an appetite, but you need to get calories in. Um, you can go ahead and make this for breakfast, any time of the day. Whatever lifestyle you're trying to live and whatever you're trying to lose weight, gain weight, maintain your weight, this is a great shake to have in there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out real quick. Alrighty, so the vanilla strawberry shake is done, like I said. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the, I like this one, my favorite, because I like chocolate, peanut butter, and bananas. So let's go ahead and get started. I have, like I said, the four to five ounces of milk here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, usually this is my post-workout, so I put a scoop and a half, but for the video's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and put a scoop of protein in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the ice cubes, about five to six ice cubes. Go ahead and unpeel. Banana, I love bananas. Actually, when I was a kid, I really didn't like bananas, but now that I'm getting older, um, my taste buds are changing, so I, I love bananas. I don't know if it's just me, or I was told never to eat the end of the banana, and I've always stuck to that uh, as a kid, so I mean, I never eat the end of the banana. I just don't know why. People do, I don't, so. Oh well, 
Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this natural peanut butter. I put a tablespoon of that. About right there. Go ahead and shake it in there. Use your finger if you have to to get everything in there. Always have to lick the end of the uh, spoon with peanut butter. So next I'm gonna add the honey. If it comes out, there we go. So I go ahead and add, add about a tablespoon of honey. As you guys can see. Throw it in there. Use your finger if you have to. Cinnamon. Like I said, I like a lot of cinnamon. So I go ahead and put a lot of it in there. There we go. Put the top on, shake her up. You can make this shake with any size blender, like I said. I just have this one here at home, so it's more convenient, smaller for me to use and clean. That's why I like it. So I'll go ahead and After 15, in between 15 to 30 seconds, I go ahead and shake it up again. So everything seems to be blended up. I do have a little bit of honey at the bottom, as you guys can see. Uh, honey is pretty sticky, so it sticks to the sides of the walls. Unless it's warmed up and you warm up the honey first and you go ahead and add it in, it blends up. But since it's cold honey, it just sticks there. So this would be the end result. Oh my gosh. You guys seriously need to go ahead and give this a shot. Like I said, this was the low calorie, low carb one here with the strawberries, the vanilla protein powder and whatnot. And this one was the higher calorie, kind of for a post-workout or if you're just on higher calories. And if you're trying to gain weight, this is also a good shake to have. You can also add oatmeal. You can add more peanut butter. Peanut butter is very dense in calories, so that would go ahead and add a lot of calories for you. Like I said, there's two different options for you guys. Go ahead and give these both a shot and tell me how you guys liked it. So go ahead and please like and subscribe to share it to a friend, uh, maybe a family member who's trying to get their body right and trying to get that summer body, lose a couple pounds or whatnot. These are great shapes to implement in your guys' diet and your guys' everyday routine. Yeah, so go ahead, try them out. Let me know what you guys think. And you guys have a great day. Thank you.